Hello again. Let's continue our time series class to access course material. Let me type my name again. Hyungu Kang. And teaching. And then time series. Yeah. And then we'll go lecture note. And we'll go second week. Today's topic is Arima. And we'll click this PDF file. PDF file is actually I opened this one over here. Okay, so simple AR model is simple. We can do regression with the like the variable, that's all. Motivating example. Okay. Motivating example. The gross rate of US quarterly real GMP from 1947 to 1991. Recall the model text below is looks like this. This is called AR3 model. We have one, two, three AR3 model because the growth rate RT depends on growth rate past three quarters. Okay. Another example: US monthly unemployment rate. It is AR1 model. We can form RT is pi zero pi one R t minus 1 at where 50 and 51 are real numbers which are referred to as uh, parameters to be as we have to estimate it from the data in the application for example rt is 0 0.05 plus 0 0.4 rt minus 1 plus at now stationarity which is a necessary sufficient condition well where which means that this one this 51 this should be less than one why because otherwise this one explode it is not stable okay it is explode so mean r0 rt ert is this one simple when mean is if we put mean each side it is independent of t and the zero is white noise which is zero so we can solve it okay by putting exponential in each side and EAT is zero and ERT ER minus T minus same then you can solve it. Okay. Next data skip. Alternative representation red ERT because mu be the mean RT so we already know this one. Equivalently then by zero is mu one minus few one. Okay? Well, which is natural because we can we can basically solve this one from the above equivalently, okay, from this one, okay. Plugging in the model, we have this one, okay. Then we can remove constant term, okay. So we will demean the process like this. This model has two parameters mu and phi. It explicitly used the mean of the series. It is less commonly used in the literature, but it's model represented used in R. In R, this is default. Now, variance of this one actually you can solve it. Okay, we can actually solve it. Variance looks like this, and autocorrelation is correlation itself. So it's a phi one. Okay, autocorrelation two. Second autocorrelation phi one square. In general, rho k would be phi one k. Okay, you can recursively solve it by this one. Okay. So, autocorrelation function rho k decays exponentially as k increases. Okay, this could be a good exercise. In the textbook, actually, you can get, you can, there is more information about this one. So, in textbook, actually, you can find this. So, actually, we can search it. So, take analysis of financial time series, and then, well, yeah, there is website and actually you can download there is actually translated version while online and I think even PDF file would be possible okay here yeah is GitHub GitHub master yeah PDF version is possible you can download it okay okay anyway yeah Forecast the minimum square error. Suppose the forecast origin is n. For simplicity, we use the model represented in one 
equation one, this one. For simplicity, d mean the process, and write x t is r t minus one. The model becomes now x t is phi one, x t minus a t. Note the forecast r t simply the forecast x t plus mu. Okay, by focusing this one, we know r. So one step away, it is natural. One plus one, yes, be one, then plus one. So, well, one step away, this one. Okay, one step away, the forecast error would be x one plus minus x one. So a n plus one. So a n plus is the unpredicted part of x n plus one. It is shock at time n plus one. Therefore, variance one step ahead the forecast is actually variance of the shock. Now, how about two step ahead? X and two equal phi one x and one, but x one in is phi one x and so we have a square. Now, two step squared error would be look like this one, right? Because we have phi. So two step forecast error would be one plus phi one square sigma a square which is greater than or equal to variance of the first step focus error. If like the uncertainty in focus increases as number of step increases, which is natural, intuitive. Now, behavior more general. Behavior of multi-step oil focus in general for the L step oil focus at N, we have this of X and L would be phi one L to the power of L X N. So forecast error is generalized version of the previous one, a n plus r, and then phi, basically to weighted sum, weighted sum of all forecasting error, right? And the variance the forecast error would be, of course, so we have this one, okay? In particular, when l becomes infinity, l becomes infinity, then x and l would converge to zero, Okay, i.e. x and l would become the mean. Okay, that's why this process called the mean inversion of AR1 process. Okay, mean inversion AR1 process. Right, because this is our assumption is that this is less than one in absolute value, so it is infinity if it comes to zero. Right, mean inversion. The variance of forecasting error approaches actually on yeah this one variance of RT. In practice, in the for the long term forecast, the serial dependence is not important. Okay, the forecast just the sample mean and the uncertainty is simply the uncertainty about the series. Okay. Now a compact form. If we use backshift operator, then well, this equation, okay, uh, yeah, this is simply one minus phi b r t would be set up not plus a t. Now we can define half life here, half life, a common way to quantify the speed of the mean inversion, how fast it converts to mean is a half life which it defines the number of period needed so that the magnitude of forecast becomes half of that forecast origin. For ARM model, this is the X and K would be half of the variable, this one. So actually we can solve it. Thus X1 K to the power of N should be half of X N consequently the half of AOM model is k would be something like this okay by taking log by taking log each side and then we can solve it okay for example if phi 1 is 0 0.5 and k equal 1 uh, the k equal 1 mm -hmm. natural right just because 0 0.5 just one one period after it becomes half so half rise if you want. How about it is 0 0.9? If phi one is 0 0.9, the half rise is about 6.6 year. 6.6 period. Now AR2 model, we can define AR2 model. Form AR2 model like this one. Okay. RT is phi 0, phi 1, RT minus 1, phi 2, RT minus 1, AT 0. 
if we use back shift operator, we move this one over here. Then one minus phi one b phi two b square r t phi zero a. Stainless steel condition factor of polynomial. So if well a factor of polynomial. So if this is a characteristic, we can define this one characteristic function. So mean is of course this one, right? Uh, mean is this one and mean adjusted formation okay so using theta 0 as a mu pi 1 mu pi 2 mu we can rewrite a 2 model as the well t mean the process r t minus mu and the sigma 1 r t minus mu phi 2 r t minus mu and a t this form is often used in the finest literature to highlight the mean division property of station IL 2 model Autocorrelation function, okay, low 0 is 1, okay, low 1 is 5 on the 1 minus i2, okay, and then second term, okay, in general, L is when L is greater than 2, it is the, it is a 5 on low L minus 1 and the pi 2 low L minus 2, okay, L, okay, there is small error to L2, okay. And then for stochastic beginning cycle, if phi 1 square 4 phi 2 is less than 0, then RT shows a characteristic of beginning cycle with average length of this one. Well, the cosine inverse is stated in radian. Okay. If it denotes the solution of polynomial as a plus minus pi, where i is root minus 1, then we have phi 1 to a, phi 2 is minus a square b square, so that k would be look like this. In r or s plus 1 can obtain root a square b square using the command mode function. Forecast is similar to AR model. Okay, for this part we need a small explanation. Okay, I skip the characteristic function part. Okay. So if let's say pi two this is zero, then it becomes AR1 process, right? Then we know this one, pi one, which should be less than one, which means that the solution of this equation by assuming pi two x should be greater than one in absolute value, right? And then we have, we can actually generalize that argument. So we have a second order because it's AR2 model. Then the solution of this one, the solution of this one should be all greater than one in absolute value. Okay. Then it would, then it would company. It is a stable function. The stationary condition means that for stationary condition, we define characteristic function like this, where this is the b is just x, and we solve this second order polynomial. And if all the solution is in absolute value greater than one, greater than one, or then we have stable solution, stationary solution. Where sometimes, sometimes the solution of this one is does not exist, not real number. Or not either. It has a complex value. If it is complex value, still the complex value, the in case it is complex value, if it is the distance from zero to the complex number, if it is greater than one, then it is fine. If the distance is greater than one, it is fine. Okay. If for the complex solution of this one, a plus b i, then a square plus b square. Okay, if greater than, if that is greater than, well, if that is greater than 1, okay, which is a distance, then we have, we satisfy stationary condition. Okay, this is slightly difficult, but as you find the solution for this one is outside of the unit circle or length is greater than, then we are fine. Okay. That okay. Now we can go. Oh, 
R implementation. Simulation R. Use the command Arima sim. So, well, it simulate. Okay, it simulate model. Okay, something like the one thousand. A two is Arima simulation model. List AR coefficient is now eight. 0.8 and minus 0.7 for this one 1.3 so this one yeah something like that and minus 0.1000 check the HFPF above two simulated series okay we know how to do that okay well in Python okay so we copy this one and then let's use our AI Okay, uh, I can close this one. So let's simulate. Okay, so Claude, let's use the Claude. Transform to transform to Python, and then generate generate figure. Okay. Here's the Python code to generate the figure using Arima simulation. Okay. I, uh, one parameter is 1.3. Okay. Simulation. It seems fine. So we can copy code. And then let's open. Okay. Corep research google.com slash shop create equals new and then we can paste paste and run okay it will take some time okay a cloud so here's a python code to generate figure using the arima simulation okay Wonderful. We import the necessary library NumPy and then Arima model. Yeah, good explanation. Okay. Very nice explanation. Yeah, I can. I can copy. I can copy. And then, actually, wow, this is the. Um, code, no, not code text, and then explanation, something like this. In the code, it does this one. Okay. Okay. Here's the Python code. Actually, this is redundant, so we can delete. like this okay so if we check the code python code well this is a remote simulation okay uh, yeah a bit large but i think it is fine okay and then uh, code we can change it to 0.8 minus 7 okay and then yeah. Then I will call it change this one to zero point eight or zero point eight and then minus point seven and then we have equation something like this. Okay. Different, okay? Simulate again. Yeah, we have this one. Check the HF PCF the above two simulator series. Okay, so we can ask it. Check the ACF, ACF and PACF of the above series. Simulated series. Oh, 
it is generating code from the beginning okay we can copy code copy code and then actually we can rewrite this one okay and run it yeah then yeah we have simulated arima process and auto correlation function of simulated air model so yet yeah, we have ar2 process the first two well numbers are significant now partial correlation again the first two are seems significant okay if we simulate more numbers then we will have more accurate numbers of course 1.3 minus 1.3 minus 1.4 1.3 minus 1.4 okay it makes sense okay the graph seems working so here in the code yeah the plot of ACF yeah where where the arima process generate time and then hmm So here Turkey is the to calculate autocorrelation function we have plot ACF and the could plot PACF we have this one. Okay. This is the code and then Now this question, reference on AR2 model can be written as AR model if one extends the dimension of course. Specifically if we have XT mu RT minus mu and this phi1 RT minus mu phi2 RT minus 2 AT. And then we define this identity this one, like this one. Then then we now putting the two equations together, we have this one. Therefore, we can transform AR2 model as a two-dimensional AR1 model. Several properties of AR2 model can be obtained from the extended AR model as well. This is sometimes more compact. Now, building on AI model, all the specification. Well, in order to build AR model, first we do the partial autocorrelated function, naive for something effective use consecutive fitting and then key feature or something like that and then, or sometimes we can use something called archive information criteria AICL for an ARL model where sigma L square is a variable residual variance so what we can find the AR order L whether we use AR1 model, AR2 model, AR3 model we find AR model with minimum AIC or L something like that. We find L to minimize this one. Actually, more popular one is BIC. BIC L is something like this. Yeah. And then we find L to minimize this Bayesian information criteria BIC. Well, if you don't know AIC or BIC, again you can generate partial ACF and then. Well, that would be a great idea. In the figure, in this figure, this this partial partial autocorrelation function. If we take a look at it, then at least at least we know the first one, the uh, AR one is a significant. This one, second one is a bit a bit not so strong. So, in this case, maybe we want to the AR one more. If we do the simulation again. Well, we differ on the data. Yeah, in this case, yeah, still, yeah, AR1 model is maybe better in this case. Although we simulate from AR2 model, this is the figure. Need a constant term, then we check the sample mean. Okay, for estimation, we can use least cumulus or maximum likely model for or in the Python, 
or R, we have a simple function like this. Okay, we have a simple function so we can estimate it. Okay. The residual model checking the residual observation minus the fit. Okay, the one step or the forecast error at each time point or residual should be close to white noise because we model all the uh, predicted part. So the residual, if our model is good, residual should be pure white noise if the model is adequate. We can use link box statistics of residual, but degree of freedom is R minus M minus G, where <laughs> Will choose is number of AR coefficient used in the model. Okay. Now example, on else of the US GMP growth rate series. Okay. Well, so here where you we upload the table, this one. Okay, and then read the T A and then correlation four plot of the page and then yeah, I think you can understand this one. Compute PAC and box link statistic link, and then here if we do box link statistic, it is 43. Okay, p value is very small, which means that there is serial correlation. Now we use AR model, use MA, possible MA model. Okay, and maximum likelihood estimate MLE, mass MLE. So we automa automatic AR fitting using AIC criteria. Okay, then M1 we can each generate each and AR3 model is specified in the model. So all those selection is three. Sigma two estimated as this one. So plot and then well link test model checking, white noise. And something like this one, okay. Um, okay, <laughs> we can check it. We can, well, as a practice, as a practice, we can uh, sigma 2 would be estimated this one and the box test. So half is ten year. Okay, so this one for some of them now I'm pretty sure you all get used to it, how to write Python code out of this R, but let's do some practice. Okay, so well we need this data. This data is I think yeah we have this one. So here. We upload the data, click this one, and then upload this one. Yeah, we uploaded the data. Okay, so now, okay, actually, we can upload here as well. In Claude, I also know this text as Claude, and then okay, in the code, read the attachy with Python. Okay, refer to our R code. Okay, then it will read. To read or attach the Python code, you can use pandas library. The data string is like this. Huh. So instead, okay,
Python. Okay. Okay. Header none. Delimit white space true. So okay. Copy code. And then now we can close this and we upload this data. And then well, <laughs> uh, let's hide this one. And then code. We don't need this one. And then we read the data. Huh, there is something wrong. Header none. PDR. Okay. Okay, import pandas pd, we need this one. And then, no such file or directory. What? Ah, this is not 82, not DAT. It is t I said TXT, okay? Okay, now it works, it seems working. Good, okay, good, perfect. Let's see only head. The first five one. Perfect. Okay. So we uploaded the data. View recommended plot. It even generated code. It even generated plus something like this one. Okay. Well code. Yes, it shows plot of this one. But nowadays, well, it is age of AI, so it generate it generate wonderful code, okay. And then X is DA one, okay. And then, okay, so we put all this together, and then. Transform to Python, okay? Wonderful, perfect. Copy code and then code. Okay, and the run. Wonderful. Time series plot, rec plot, and the rec to an ACF plot. Okay, good. Okay, so well, let's look at one by one. Okay, so two by two grid. First plot is time series plot. Second plot is rack plot. Okay, so it is the well. If we take a look at the uh, this one, this one, then there seems a clearly second figure. There is a little positive correlation between first and second. Okay. First thing I collect, and then leg two. This one again, it seems a positive correlation between first and then data and the second leg. So it suggests, okay, these two figures in the diagonal they suggest a positive correlation. So the first leg and second leg is possibly significant better. And finally, if we do ACF plot, ACF plot, ACF plot is this one. ACF plot also suggests that, that there is a. We possibly need two rack, okay? Two legs. So, possibly AR2 model. It suggests AR2 model would be proper, possibly, because of this one. And we have two significant, two points, first two points outside of this blue area. Okay, now we can also compute. We can also compute. Okay, we can also compute partial autocorrelation. This one. So click this one.
Okay, so copy code and then code and then if you run it this is the So partial autocorrelation, so it also suggests that there is error to up to two. And then for second one, the link box statistic. Uh, yes, it has used the same error, so I think. I can delete this one. Okay, so f object is string. Oh, so this is string. So, well, um, how can I change it? Okay, so okay. Uh, actually, I can copy and paste this one to the cloud. Then I think it will fix. Okay, it will fix the code. Okay, so I can copy it again. You copy code again, and then here. Okay, still there is error. Value error. So let me ask again. <laughs> again, it changes again. Okay, so copy code. I hope it works this time. Not combat. Okay, we change it so well. We simplify code so LB is the link box stat, and then this one. So. Instead of using AI, let me slightly change this one. So let me change this one as LB stat. Okay, let me say LB. Okay, I'll call it LB and then this one as LB and then let me see what's gonna. Then we have, yes, two output. Okay, then we have. LB stat and then we have LB p value. Okay, then LB stat and LB p value. Wow, there are too many output like 10. So we need only this one. So, uh, zero. Can put zero, I think. Ah, no, 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 no. We can. I cannot do this one. Okay, so LB p value. So to save the output, I will only values. Okay, then, well, for Lugubach statistic, it's very large, 43. 
and then p value is very small so there is clearly serial correlation okay so then what should we do okay we have to estimate the model of course wait uh, let me save the file so say week o2 okay save the file always save what else okay so we have to estimate model so here well they are doing this one so MLE using maximum likelihood of western tail to AR1 fitting so transform to Python okay no no not this one okay not this one okay let me stop stop and then okay again copy copy and then paste okay well I didn't tell it to transfer Python okay well good it is automatically change it model fit automatic fit error model using AI secret in Python okay you can use the stat model library okay, so copy code and then code to this one and automatically fit it if AR2 model then well it has this estimation the auto rack okay time zero model fit constant yeah, like this one well this is a bit strange the correct answer is that we should AL3 model is specified but in this model well, it didn't specify the uh, lack correctly so well, something wrong correct model is AL3 but your code does not so okay Um, like three. Okay. Mm. Okay. So copy code instead. Like three. Okay, rec 3 and then rec 1, 2, 3 is significant. Up to rec 1, rec 2 is significant. Rec 3 is marginally significant. Okay, so check AIC and BIC criteria to find proper legs. Okay. Okay, so we can use the code, copy code, and then this one, run it, auto rec, so it's strange, yeah. In the, I think it is possible, possible data issue, I'm not sure, but correct leg is 
one okay here very strange strange okay AIC let me see AIC values AIC minimize indeed it is minimized in one okay so there is a possibly different of data issue some sort of data issue I think VIC values still minimum leg is one okay minimum leg is one interesting okay in our textbook okay in our textbook well one minimum leg is one interesting it has up to second leg is significant but in the data it suggests first leg is significant I don't know there is some inconsistency between uh, R and Python I don't know but well let's skip okay Anyway, let's use order selection 3 sigma to estimate as this one. Okay. In our code again. Yeah. There's some difference between Python and R. So I think you can. We can find it. Sigma. Order select sigma to estimate it. And then number of observation border, method time sample. Okay, standard innovation. We have estimation of this one. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And then let's plot residual. Residual two plus residual of the model then like three and then copy code code and then this one we already imported this one we remove this one model m1 p not necessary we already did that so okay you can residual of the fitted air model test looks quite uh okay this one okay this one deleted this look quite white noise there seems no pattern in residual so for legal we can do model checking box test okay and then oops sorry stop stop yeah stop why okay it is uh, again copy hmm Why it is not properly copied? Copy text and then oh, I miss B. Okay, but well, AI is smart, it understands what I'm going to do anyway. Oh, it again does LB. Okay, it doesn't need this one. So, again, copy and paste over here for the rest part. Well, let me just, we wouldn't need this part. Okay, 
So box link state p value is now p value point seventy percent. Okay, state is zero, so it is white node. We cannot reject nor higher possible state. There is no pattern. Okay, so the model is correct. Okay, how about leg is one? Okay. Yeah, still, yeah, maybe, maybe Python is right. Even if leg is one, there is no pattern. P value is still very small. Okay, so leg one would be possibly fine. Okay, then yeah, let's do leg like three. Following the PDF, maybe leg one, maybe Python is right. Maybe this text is maybe, maybe this PDF is wrong. Anyway, this is another approach with order given. We don't have to do that. Okay. Uh, then estimated names. Okay, in the box test residual issue the generate same. Now generate three clocks, three well, I don't think we need this one. How about this is interesting okay so actually so okay actually we can this part okay copy text and then our model is m1 okay so paste and then we don't have m2 so m1 get this one okay Very nice. It explains wonderful. Ex it offers wonderful explanation as well. So we can copy the code, and then here, code. Okay. Uh, we don't need this part. Okay. We need from this part. Cause the polynomial coefficient. Okay. Polynomial coefficient is this root is this one. Okay. Polynomial coefficient, and we find the root. Okay, and then root is this one. Okay, we have this root. Okay, zero, and then okay, this one. So modulus is all less than one. Modulus is all less than one. So they are fine, and then mode of case two. So half rough is like two year wait there is something wrong the modulus is all rested so they should be greater than one otherwise the process unstable so i think the rules are wrong let me check the correct one okay this is the answer okay copy text and then wrong your code is wrong the root correct loose are this one okay Let me check again, copy code. Then, yeah, yeah, it does not make sense. There's something wrong with the code. Okay, let's go to ChatGPT. Okay, maybe ChatGPT is possibly correct. Okay, so well, I can go ChatGPT and then new one. But well, then I have to do from the beginning. Okay. 
Okay, let me use this one. Correct this code. The already the good structure but request some small change. Yeah, let me check this one. Code, copy the code. Ah, it's quite long. Okay. Ah, let me try. Hmm. Again, there is something wrong. I don't know what's wrong with this one, so it will take time for me to figure out this one. Okay, I will upload the correct code later on. For final, it is very hard to find uh, what is wrong with this one. Okay, close. No, it is does not look right. Okay, I figured it out what is correct, and then anyway, and then you can predict this one. Okay, and then yeah, let's do the prediction part. Okay, so let's close and then it m 18 okay so we are using m1 model so predict to make a prediction okay so copy code and then we can make predictions okay yes yeah, so it's a prediction for the next eight period eight period of prediction for the next eight period of the data 